What is going on guys, Jake here from Honored Arts bringing you another tutorial, this time it is a Cinema 4D tutorial uh, I haven't actually done a mic check yet so hopefully this I'm guessing it'll be good because I was just using it Anyway, yeah, Cinema 4D, I'm gonna be showing you I don't know, I'm, I've got a request that I'm doing right now and I thought why not just uh, record and tell you what I'm doing like if you're new to Cinema 4D then you'll be able to follow what I'm doing or you'll learn new stuff now what I do start off if I do text or anything I don't use this text the freehand text because you get a and that to me the point of Cinema 4D is to make stuff 3D or 4D and yeah I don't wanna I'll have stuff 3D I don't want to have to do the text and then make it 3D. It's just a lot easier the way to do this. Now go to MoGraph and then Mo Text, and it's already 3D. You can edit it from there. I hate it when it does that when I'm recording. Anyway, so yeah, like I said, I'm just going to be doing a uh, what's it called? A request that I've got at the moment. And yeah, so all right. If you do a text object, then it's easier without moving the uh, camera. Just go to well, I haven't seen that word there before, but okay. Just change this to middle. It will be left, but change it to middle. Now, if you want to make it thicker, you go to depth, and I usually use between 50 and 80, but today I'm just going to use 50. There we go. Now, just if you want to. Just try and middle it, get it in the middle, sorry, center it. I don't really what, uh, bother about subdivision, I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> um, anything else? No. Just one second. It's a lot easier if you download a material pack, by the way. Uh, they'll be all over YouTube. And yeah. There we go. I should have loaded that before I... Alrighty. Uh, now if you want you're gonna want to change the font so you just go font there it's pretty it's pretty straightforward but there's a few things that I missed when I first did it now the one thing I don't like about Cinema 4D is you gotta you gotta get the text right first like you're gonna be like oh no using that one you gotta like keep going through it I'll try slant Give me a sec. Yeah, I like it. Alrighty. Now, what colour? Make it blue. Blue and black. Uh, we've got the, the simple 3D text here, basically. Alright. So, if you just add a colour to that. I'll just get this blue colors on it and I could save it like that if I wanted maybe add a few lights whatever but I reckon it looks kinda boring so what I'm gonna do is delete this color I'm gonna highlight the text like just click on it on oh, the layer sorry and press control C and control V copy and paste the layer now on the copied layer, you can name it if you want. Just double click, click on the name, and just cop. I don't know. Ah, just random. And what I do is half it, I half the text. So you go to depth and change it to 25 if you got 50, 40 if you got 80, whatever. Just half it, and try and move it into the middle. There we go. Um, what if <laughs> Sorry about that. I look like an idiot. Alright, now, if I say I add colors to this, and then I'm like, yep, you can do that, but I don't know, it just looks stupid to me. But, I don't know, what if it looks, what if it looks like good for you, I don't know what I'm saying, I'm trying to concentrate 
Alright, now what you want to go on the steel, the copied layer, go to the caps and then fillet cap and end fillet cap. So start and end fillet cap. You can muck around with the radius, it's up to you. Go away. Uh, you can change the filter type to one step if you like, and it just brings it. I don't know if you could see that, but. No, you can't. Uh, it just makes this blue part going onto the black a lot more easier to see, or two step. I mean, now there's two stairs, and like, I don't know, it looks like stairs a little bit. It's like looked engraved there, but it's hard to see with the black. But if you do other colours, then you'll be able to see the filter type, just change them all around, whatever you want. I'm going to leave it with one step, two step, I don't like. And actually, I don't like that black. So, oh, we could leave it with white. Yeah, but no. Um, there we go. Alrighty. Now, I've got the text. It looks kind of good. Just want to see what this is. Terrible with the camera on this. Go up. Go up. I'm like dragging. Yeah. Oh well. Alrighty. Wow. Well. Yeah. Uh, you probably also want to uh, get good with the camera. Unlike me, I didn't. I don't really bother with it. I'm terrible at it. Well, every time I'm recording, it seems like I am. Alright, so you've got the text, maybe you're not sure that's enough, you want more, you can add squares, you can add shapes, 3D shapes, you can add lights if you want, actually I'm going to add a floor, mm, not, I'm going to add a colour, so colour on, leave it as white, uh, name floor, yep, everything's good there, you can change all this sort of stuff. Makes it go right, this makes it go left, this makes it go up. So, yeah, do whatever you want. Just put it back on zero. Um, this makes it go this way. This makes it go. I don't know what way that makes it go, but okay. And then I'm just gonna. 999. No, no, no. Okay, no, no, no. There we go. And if oh, I can't hide it, can I? Never mind. Say so if I want to look at it now, it'll be, you know, it'll be shiny. It won't. It'll have like yeah, shadows and stuff. Alright, so you got your text. Now, if you want to save it for Photoshop or something like that, you go to that thing right there. I'm not really clear on the name. And go to Save. Change the format to PNG and tick Alpha Channel. Now, choose the place where you want it to be saved. So, I named a photo uh, file Photoshop 3D. It is. No, that's not it actually. I haven't made a file. Uh, so we'll just do 10. Uh, and then save. Name it. Make sure everything's like I have at the moment. Uh, you can put multipass on if you'd like. Anti analyzing. Now go to put the anti analyzing to best. Filter, still image. Uh, you can change these if you want. Uh, it's up to you. Options, all good. Uh, effect, I think it's. If I get this right, there's one, one here that makes it look good. Now I had like a few weeks or months without Photoshop, uh, Cinema 4D, so we'll have to see. Effects, ambient occlusion. Yeah, that should be it. Now, with uh, rendering it. You want to get it in the in those 
grey lines now, if you could see those lines on the side there. Ah, there's one thing I didn't do. Put the output to the size that you want. So there we go. And yes. There we go. Alrighty, here we go. Oh, now it's going to take its time. See how far I've recorded. 10 minutes, good. I'll just pause it here and I shall come back when it's done. Alrighty, back here and now I forgot to add that if you add a floor, it's going to have a background in the image, so yeah. Now, once here, you want to go to File, Save As, and then click OK, then click Save, and then it will come up with, you've already, you know, you just go Yes. And, yeah, now you can not bother about Cinema 4D, open up Photoshop, if it loads, find the folder, I'm working on a background at the moment. And yeah, I'll find the file, sorry. If I can there it is, I'm completely blind. Alright, so yeah, like I said the floor is going to show up. So that's one thing that's going to suck here. I'm gonna have to do this again. Yeah, good. Alrighty. So we wanna get rid of the floor. Yeah, so try to make, I'm pretty sure I did make the floor white, but I don't know why it's saved like that. Just, just give me a second here. Where is it? What am I doing? It's right here. Yeah, so that's what it's going to do. It's going to get rid of the 3D part of the, part of the text. Alright, so we can just close this off. And we'll go back to here, and we'll have to do that all again. No, we won't save. Good, good, good. Yep, right, sweet. Ah, I'm just going to have to render it again. Do you really? Yes. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back again. Now, like I said before, find the file, folder, wherever you saved it. Just find it. Uh, let me find it. It is. Alright, now it doesn't have a background, as you can see. If you press V, I can. No, wait, what? Oh, yeah, it's frozen. Fro frozen. Hmm, okay. Yeah, so if I, go, I can just muck around with it. Take it onto other files. Resize it. And yeah, there we go. Now we could just. You know, add it on to whatever we want. Well, thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial helped you in most ways with Cinema 4Ds. Just making text and, you know, stuff like that. I'll have the next Photoshop tutorial up very soon. Thanks for watching once again, and have a good day.